and welcome to the Stephen Trice podcast, episode 25. Of course, me and Ryan here are both 25. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was fucking years ago for you two. <laughs> uh, you two in particular are Max Smith and Hi, Thomas Cooney. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, Tom, Max is sort of talking over your introduction there, mate. Just apologise, Max. People have come to expect me to say certain things. We're also joined by Ryan Locke. Hey. And ah. Joe McGrath, <laughs> who is well, finally great. wearing a mask. Unfortunately, he's made of leather and his little chains. <laughs> <laughs> Again, mask. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> oh, yeah, hey. Wholesome stuff. Anyone else fucking claps this podcast? You're getting a wallop, all right? <laughs> uh, anyway, Max, you been up to anything this week? Yeah, boy. <laughs> Hating that. Living my life, having a good time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Great. Uh, less detail, please. Oh, Tom, I had something this week. I've, oh, I've forgotten it. Come back to me. Come back to cool. me. Cool. I'm sure you'll think of it when you come up with your excuse for the lack of Tom Looney this week. Yeah. Hiatus. Uh, about time yeah the staff need a break uh, <laughs> Ryan the researchers yeah. are returning guests yeah what have you been up to mate uh, I've been going to the gym a lot yeah yeah I started real shame started Dave working couldn't make it this week uh, I had a rough one yesterday and nearly passed out <laughs> oh, oh, yes, yeah. no, cross trainer yeah. I just don't think I ate enough or drank enough just felt really dizzy yeah a lot of really excuses dizzy. yeah, yeah. 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 Well, that's the thing that, when you don't have anything to drink or eat and then you go to the gym yeah uh, uh, I messed up I do that sometimes yeah but it's uh, like, <laughs> actually, no, drink it, drink. Third drink time in a row, yeah, innit? Yeah. Just, uh, just take a load of pre workout. Yeah. If you can't find that, I hear rat poison is sort of the similar level. Oh, okay, I'll yeah, I've been trying to snort some of that. Recently. Yeah, I said rat poison, not fat poison. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I've been wearing the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm 25, baby. <laughs> yeah, four century, as I say. Uh, I think the next one will be half a year, six months worth wow. of podcasts. Wow. <laughs> Sometimes we haven't had uh, we haven't had six minutes worth of podcast quality, but yeah. we're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> of course, this week we've been filming um, a sketch, yeah. not a sketch. Yeah. Just a Joe, God <laughs> damn it! I'm trying to correct myself here. <laughs> a video. Uh, we've been filming a video for a shoe shop today. Uh, Max fell through, fell through a table of cake, and then we've still got more to go tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, man. Been doing it all week. It's not over yet. <laughs> we're still beaming, smile, mate. Yeah. We're not finished. <laughs> That's it for about twelve. Oh, shit. Oh. Fuck off, Tom! <laughs> I'm so sorry. Why is your feet going over there, dick? We had a meeting. <laughs> Guess, Guess what else has gone on this week? I realise we've been pronouncing Joe's surname wrong. It's oh. McGrath, not McGrath. <laughs> is it? I prefer McGrath, though. Yeah, Joe, McGrath. we're not clapping your name being pronounced wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to be involved. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Too true, Stephen. <laughs> I, uh, it's episode 26. <laughs> Is it? I don't look at me. Is it? 25 videos on the podcast channel. How's the the last one start? You ready for this? Yeah. There's an advert. Don't skip that. (laughs) Beer 52. 50. Oh, Oh, that's embarrassing. Start again. 26! Woo! Six months of podcasts. And uh, here we are. <laughs> Here's something fun. Macaulay Culkin's 40 years old. 40? 40, mate. Jeez. Doesn't look it. Really? No, he, uh, yeah, 40 years old. Is he still on old. drugs? No, Jesus come on, mate. Ryan. Don't, don't speak of Macaulay like that. You Put know, some respect on Anyone who's had that name. sort of fame at such just... a young age is going to be messed up a little bit. Yeah, all right, fair enough. Let him do what he wants. 40 years old, though. <laughs> yeah, crazy. It makes you feel old, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, speaking of which, Max has got a new nickname that we're all fond of. Grandad. Hey, <laughs> Grandad. Grandad. <laughs> yeah, that's me. <laughs> Make sure you comment that, please. Yeah, uh, no context. Max required. Grandad. <laughs> um, really funny, though, isn't it? Hashtag Grandad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Great hashtag. Uh, hashtags uh, this thing on Twitter. You, you won't know about it. <laughs> Old Man Smith. You can't fucking say anything. Why? You're at least seven years older than I am. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's get back on track, shall we? Uh, we recently had um, a bit of podcast beef, if you will. There's another podcast called the Cultaholic Podcast. Mm. They focus on wrestling. Uh, so we had to pick on the guys that know greased up men, didn't we? You know. Oh. Although I know some greased up men. <laughs> I'll take you to that sauna sometime, Ryan. Uh, I'm joking, he runs it. Uh, they, uh, they apparently have a segment called Reese's Pieces. 
<laughs> unbeknownst to me, right? Not not our problem. It is now, Max. Is it a play it on a name as well? I don't know. I don't think anyone then. Um, it's called Reese. It could be wrong. Uh, but of course, you know, we've upset them. We haven't upset the uh, the candy makers. They so get that's a free good. Promo out of it. Yeah, yeah, man. Of course, they want to be associated with Dave. <laughs> Dave's not here. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Dave isn't here. Hello. Uh, we've, we've kicked Dave off because of his annoying laugh. You're right. You've got me now for the day. Yeah, we've established your way, Ryan. Yeah. It was a narcissist. Right. Anyway, uh, I spotted a comment on the last podcast. Which, uh, oh, was sorry, great. I want to analyse here. It said, uh, <laughs> Tom Clooney is such a depressing wet flannel. Now, listen, <laughs> if you are the brother of George Clooney, one of the most successful actors, <laughs> handsome men, you are going to reflect at yourself and go, you know what, maybe my life isn't as good. I've got the same genes as my brother, pretty much, and yet he's doing so well, and I'm not doing well. So uh, whoever Tom Clooney is, uh, you know what, you're welcome on this podcast if you've got a problem. We'll help you through it, mate. Uh, I'm glad that that's been pointed out in the comments. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> might be on next week, eh? Always good to interact with the fans. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> wet flat. I don't know how you're making this about you, mate. Tom Clooney. Oh, very narcissistic. <laughs> Nothing to do with you. Oh, Max, bare narcissist over here. Yeah, Jesus. Just us two sexy boys just being cool, That's, yeah? Yeah, you know. A demograph. Yeah. <laughs> too sexy to be on camera. That's true. <laughs> Sexy, 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 sexy. What the fuck is oh, this podcast? Oh, oh. I love that. I love yeah. that. Anyway, let's get into the topic. School, <laughs> school plays. <laughs> Speaking of people chanting sexy, <laughs> year two was a great nativity for me. <laughs> and Nip Slip as a wise man. <laughs> Um, so this week's podcast is all about acting. Mm. Oh, four thespians in the room, and whatever Joe is. <laughs> Joe, have you ever done acting? Mm. You have. Oh, he looks shy. <laughs> <laughs> he looks shy. <laughs> Joe's done porn every night. <laughs> Unofficial porn. <laughs> he just sort of jumped in. <laughs> Only me. <laughs> if you're struck, and that get your hands on this too. <laughs> uh, that was in a cat cafe, to be fair. <laughs> Uh, this isn't porn. It is now. <laughs> That's implying something. That's a definition. <laughs> 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 no slacking. <laughs> you call this a baby shower? <laughs> <laughs> Max, be weird, mate. Come on. Give Don't be respect, weird. <laughs> Lot of time for that. <laughs> Stupid pricks over there. Yeah. You've been so, changing allegiances so much. <laughs> Shut up. Shut it's hard up. to keep up. Yeah, you shut up as well, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, Ryan! Don't worry, you'll be What have I told you? <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, so, yeah, we're talking about acting today. Um, let's get right into it. <laughs> what is the best role you've ever had, and what was it in? Go. Uh, I was in the... Sausage rolling ground. <laughs> Yeah, 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 that yeah, poison yeah. Tom yeah. Yeah. You, you could say that role was in me because I wouldn't have been in that role because uh, that would have been a Max role <laughs> I don't think Max, they sell those at Greg's maxed out your roles <laughs> it's not even roles anymore it's just one big one <laughs> a big balloon <laughs> so you number one man <laughs> <laughs> For those of you listening, Max is just dabbing up a storm. Oh, uh, really bad heartburn now. Storm Smith, oh. we call it. George, want to get some Rennies whilst Tom tells us about Good the best please. role he's ever had. Uh, was it, it a fat spliff you rolled? Best role ever. Hey, was that ever question done. to you, Ryan? No, no, was it to Tom? Curious, Sorry about it. Was it in school? I hate you. No, Sorry, it'll be something in a video, won't it? Um, oh, a video. Fair enough. Yeah, it's always fun being like an anonymous weirdo. Yeah, you, you t- you've made that role your own. Uh, yeah, of a, of a recent sorry. performances. <laughs> Can I ask why you go for the Yorkshire accent when you're trying to be weird? I don't know. Uh, see, it didn't used to be my go-to accent, but obviously I'm surrounded by it so much now. Jack Smith is back. With <laughs> <laughs> so apparently, my brother was just in me. <laughs> Definitely not. Uh, so, uh, so sorry, Tom. You're talking about uh, your favourite or your best role was a, a role in a video. Uh, I don't know. What about really? in school then? Uh, did you ever uh, get like a main role in a school play? See, I didn't really do um, drama until too busy oh, no, shagging I didn't chips. Really, I was a, I was a, bu- I was a bus driver <laughs> yeah. in our uh, school's production of Our Day Out. Oh yeah, good sh- good yeah. show that. I enjoy that. Uh, uh, yeah, I watched that in uh, yeah. in the theatre. Good show. Ryan, what about you? Uh, Favourite character I've ever played is probably... Uh, I played this guy called Ramdas from the story of a little... Ramdas? <laughs> <laughs> I was back in the sauna, wasn't it? 
<laughs> they're one of those Joe McGrath movies. <laughs> Ramdas too. <laughs> um, the story of a little princess. Do I was shaking when you saw the him? The story of a little princess. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> 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 oh no! Oh. I've seen that. Man. Can this yeah. ass get any more rammed? <laughs> My name's Joe McGrath. <laughs> <laughs> time for some, time for some princess. <laughs> I'm here, princess. Oh god. Uh, yeah, it's just really fun. Like, I had to do. <laughs> it's lots of magic and yeah. and uh, my costume. Where great. did it go? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you see this one? <laughs> uh, oh. So that, that's favourite. Uh, in terms of the videos, though, I really like Professor Rogers. Professor I know, Rogers. I know he's not had Was much not uh, with Joe. <laughs> I know he's not had much screen time yet, but yet. <laughs> that character I'm going for a spin-off. <laughs> Uh, just, yeah, yeah, Professor Rogers was I, I, it's just quite It's just quite easy. It fits my uh, criteria. Or like my, he was a paedophile. <laughs> yeah. My criteria. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I look for so. three things in a character. Uh, <laughs> paedophile, gauzy <eye. laughs> I once got the main role in a, in a play in school, and it was in... Uh, an original by the drama teacher called Hotel Garbaggio. Yeah, real, real pride in getting the main part in that. Jesus. But, uh, my, I don't know what my character was. He was a chef. Mm. We only did one night. <laughs> we didn't oh. plan to do more, I should point out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we only did, it was just a one-off. I once auditioned for, in year two for a singing part. There was about six oh. of us, so I went first. And she just went, okay, you can go now, Stephen. <laughs> and what the did rest you think? just stayed there. God knows. Uh, probably something... Christy, yeah. nativity. But uh, well, I was uh, I did. I was John Proctor in the uh, Crucible. Oh, I, That's I a lead role. I Fuck have off, Ryan. In the Crucible, like a yeah. snooker player. Yeah. <laughs> so go on. Uh, where were you, Tom? That was it. Just had a lead role. <laughs> It was good. Have you ever auditioned for something? My audition was on Skype and it was really awkward. Yes. Yes. Sk- Skype, Skype is awkward <laughs> anyway when yeah, speaking yeah. to strangers. <laughs> and I had to ask my, my dad to go out like he was in the house but because he's deaf or he's partly deaf uh, he would just shout all the time and he, he won't know if I've started my audition. You're doing that Ramdas, yeah. son? <laughs> uh, that, was, that was awkward. I brought some of my mates to watch as well. <laughs> Come on, son. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, but that's the only time I've auditioned. What? So, well, no, you've auditioned to, to oh, be a runner. Right. Yeah. You've yeah. also auditioned to get into Salford University. Oh, you're right. Yes, you're right. So, if you're going to come on here, show. tell the fucking yeah, yeah. truth, mate. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and asked you in Stephen Lies, and it's your job yeah. not to. <laughs> Let's fall back to school plays again. Nativity. Who were you? I was one of the wise men. Yeah. Same. Wow. Yeah. Wait, one. I died the gold. Sure. Uh, uh, I was wearing orange. <laughs> that nice, helps. mate. Nice, yeah. 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 <laughs> he had a mare. Yeah. Oh, he got his nines. Go on, Ryan. Uh, I was a sheep. Yeah, and you are, though, aren't you, mate? I told you to come here. You just did. <laughs> and I fell off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> so it all falls and just... <laughs> <laughs> that was me just falling off the stage. Yeah, yeah. But like, behind, behind, not in front. <laughs> so I just exited the stage. <laughs> <laughs> so just come and get me. <laughs> did, did, like, did Joseph have to improvise? This <laughs> oh, no, going on in the nativity. We're doing the producers. <laughs> <Not> like, uh, <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> What's that fucking sheep? Shoot! Shoot! I'll tell you. <laughs> Big gun sheep. <laughs> uh, I wasn't missed because I didn't have any lines or anything. So it's just <laughs> Dad in the crowd shouting, I bought me bloody meat here to see this! <laughs> that one, no one knows. <laughs> I was, I was there for a week. Because of the costume, I was on my back. <laughs> so, you oh, never did any school plays? No, uh, <sighs> no um, I did like college stuff, but that was more for like coursework. And... So for drama, did you take drama? Yeah. yeah. You could have filmed me. <laughs> what? Are <laughs> you kidding? <laughs> yeah, for those of you who haven't seen Butterside Down, <laughs> already of Max's recent work. <laughs> <laughs> Dare I say it? Destiny last week. <laughs> <laughs> that was a me. I was going to be out having a little kiss with you. Yeah, champagne. Uh, 
Oh, so you, you do drama? I do drama, yeah. <laughs> and uh, we should teach her off a lot, or...? No, she hated me. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, you just... you kept up staging it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's uh, me. But did you always want to do, like, funny plays and funny yeah. skit sort of thing? Yeah. Like, we'd have a serious thing and I'd do something stupid. And yeah. she'd be like, you fucking idiot, Max. Well, that's the part of drama, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It was always fun in my school to, like... It's so the joke like, stuff, it's yeah. like it's what Oedipus and all this sort of like Greek shit. <laughs> Oedipus wasn't that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Princess, <laughs> yeah, we, we did Oedipus. Yeah. yeah, Greek myth. College, did you do it again? College, yeah. So for that, it was um, obviously Kropke for West Side Story. You mentioned that twice. Uh, <laughs> great, great play. Yeah. Uh, what else? Um, some old man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Method for that though, isn't it? <laughs> granddad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's granddad. Still method acting. Um, <laughs> what was it? Uh, it was uh, uh, Good Night Mr. Tom, I think, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I say that often to him. She's <laughs> <laughs> a great as my batty. Um, and then dream. university. Did it, You've mentioned in the past that you did a directing course. Yeah. And was it wasn't more... traffic, it was directing. <laughs> uh, so what was that? That was uh, just like learning how to use cameras and stuff. Yeah. Like only I left after the first year because it was fucking awful. Too easy. Mm. Yeah, too mm. easy for me. <laughs> Some proper knobheads. Yeah. A lot of pretentious people do stuff like that. Yeah. And then, of course, you went to Salford. Salford uh, Uni. Now, yeah. now, did you have to audition to get in? I auditioned to get into, as I've said before, into like the central school of drama or whatever it's called. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that upper echelon sort of of the drama world? Yeah, again, everyone there. Like uh, I've told this story before. Uh, everyone's like in the great hall sort of thing, and the teacher yeah. comes in. She's like, "Pretend you're a tree and all this shit." Yeah. So I'm laughing in the back, and everyone looks at me like, "You scum!" You know. You're not taking it seriously. Yeah. So uh, how did you get get into that audition? Because wouldn't you have to have like a like an acting CV sort of thing? No. Resume? But they. It's the thing is, is like you have to pay. To it's fifty <clears> quid. So you've paid to go to. <laughs> And you great might even try to and take it seriously. You tend to be a tree, but not graduate. <laughs> well, yeah, you know. Bloody hell, Max. A little day trip to London. What about you, Ryan? Uh, so, yeah, <clears throat> I did some acting in school, GCC. Yes. Uh, what sort of love. style did you do? Yeah, it was comedy. Always always uh, trying to be the funny one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> still there, was, trying. <laughs> there was this one. <laughs> still trying. There was this one character where... Um, <laughs> I enjoyed it too. I had uh, it, it was a comedy, but I had Parkinson's, and <laughs> what I life used or? to love it when I used to like start twitching on the floor, and it, like I just went OTT on it. And so I was on drugs as and well. And you've you've recently written Harvey Price <laughs> the musical. I said the character was on drugs. Harvey Price the musical. Then comes Buster. <laughs> <'Cause> you're wasted. <laughs> <laughs> he bought out the front row. <laughs> Bring on Harvey. <laughs> I was uh, I was the Tin Man in the school play, which was great fun. The costume that they got me was way too small, and you could see the outline of my. Uh, oh, tiny say it. Penis. Tiny penis. Yeah. That's so strange because <laughs> in uh, in uni we did. We did a spin off of yeah. The Wizard of Oz, and a lad who was playing the Tin Man again was costume showed off his tiny penis. I just don't penis. think it's, yeah. It's quite a tight fit thing, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, I was yeah. doing the old robot. Yeah? Yeah, I had to sing a, a song called Slide Some Oil to Me. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, <laughs> your dad was uh, all too pleased to do so. <laughs> just basking you. Look at the... that tiny penis! <laughs> I brought all my mates to see it. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually double that, man, as a promise. <laughs> <laughs> it must be stage fright, you see. Um, it's sorry, not like man. mine. <laughs> Mine's huge. <laughs> look, look at me wearing a matted man suit. <laughs> <laughs> We're a funny old family. <laughs> oh, that father likes some. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, anyway, so... Then, yeah, uni happened. <laughs> uni happened. Uh, Did you audition for that? Yeah, yeah, I auditioned for that. Uh, Tom McManus is in my audition. Great friend of the no. podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Great friend. Um, did you have to do a monologue or anything? Yeah, yeah, we did. Uh, I, uh, did you go serious for it, or did you do one of your wacky disabled characters? Uh, uh, do you know what? I can't even remember. I think it was a serious disabled <laughs> character. I, I think it was it was a comedy one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Oscar um, Pistorius. <laughs> and I'm you know really what? angry. I brought along a load of jokes that I'd written and sort of gave that to uh, you know the course leader. And you got on the course. Yeah, yeah. She, she read my one liners and was like, "Yeah, no, that's, yeah, that's what we need here." After that, Ryan. Yep. You then, uh, you then did some work 
Is it theatre? It's not theatre and education. Is it? Yeah, yeah, theatre and oh, education. Yeah. TIE. And uh, so we basically, <laughs> there was four of us. Uh, we were a team of four. We had a van. <laughs> and in the back was, uh, had all the set and stuff. And we would go. <laughs> and your dad. <laughs> a lot of freak cameras. <laughs> Just in my costume. Um, That's your dad, you mocking there, mate. Wow. Um, <laughs> And we would go to primary schools and do like a pantomime in there. Or, in or, the like, van. Yeah. Or in the school. <laughs> no, no, in the school. Just fuck so about we, the we, we on stage. Get the, get the <laughs> uh, we would set everything up and then do like an hour show, pack it down, go to another school. You get very yeah. in detail about this. Oh, just, to, just letting you know the day to day. Do you have to do there? autographs or anything? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Some. It's impressive. But you, you'd sign it as your character because they were kids. So they were like, like Princess Hook. Ramdas. Captain uh, this, Hook. This one, I signed one as Captain Hook and this uh, kid went, oh, come on, what's your real name? Uh, well, how would you do it like, with the hook? Well, I didn't have the hook on then. This is like after the show. Ooh, so breaking, the, off, breaking the fourth wall. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. No, it's just the show. You've still got to stay in character, but you've still got to get like, hook the set, yeah. to get the set out like through the school. You're in your plain clothes and you're still signing with Captain Hook. Won't get into my drama school, mate. Not with that. That's rule one. Yeah, <laughs> always just, you get recognised from your uh, never take your hook your off. Stephen Tries appearances. Yeah, a few uh, times. Uh, by the kids. So during a show, uh, there was these group of lads. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 um, yeah, they kept doing it. Uh, the yeah, then you just went to teachers. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. In, in the end, I went over to them and like high fived them. <laughs> and then they stopped. Meant to that. touching kids. <laughs> Did you, you still have your hook on when you high fived yeah. them? No, no, this is another. I wasn't doing that show then. Who were you playing? Mm. Uh, I was a, a farmer, Homer Zuckerman from <laughs> Charlotte's Web. <laughs> Do you also play the sheep? <laughs> <laughs> Finally, someone does I'll play a cow. Play the front. I'm on so, to roll the whole thing. <laughs> uh, I, I have played the back end of a cow. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, yeah. The arse end of a cow. The arse end of a cow. I had to dance to shotgun. Like, well, with my legs. The Shotgun's hurts. the front. Oh. You're the back. Yeah. We got well, two in the front. Uh, yeah, it wasn't like... <laughs> So it was in Jack and the Beanstalk when the character of Jack was singing the song. Was it wasn't was Jack in My Stalk one of your dad's films? <laughs> <laughs> With me boy. <laughs> Starting Tin Man. <laughs> Captain Fuck. Um, <laughs> Look at it grow! <laughs> Can have these beans. <laughs> in uh, in one of the shows we did where they had like this plastic skeleton that was with us and we, we just called it um, we, it was in a dungeon and the skeleton was just there and yeah. we called it Barry just like that's just the name we gave it this for out, <laughs> we just called, uh, called it Barry for the <coughs> <laughs> anyway sometimes the kids if they're really scared to watch the show they get to come and look at the set beforehand and um, they saw the skeleton and I was like oh this, this is Barry and then like two of them just started crying oh, and uh, a substitute teacher came over to me and she went so uh, our caretaker um, died yesterday. <laughs> His name is Barry. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my god. <laughs> oh. His name's not Barry. <laughs> that's that's the most. Come on, look at Barry. Look, <laughs> look at him. After they said that to you, this you is just... what happens. <laughs> you end up in a pie. Um, after they said that to you, you just went, I know he died. <laughs> <laughs> Tom. Yeah. You've what was the question. Uh, so you've been acting since. How old? Uh, I didn't do it at GCSE. You didn't? No. Oh, did you do A-level no. or college? A-level. So um, what, what made you not take it at GCSE and go, I can do this at A-level? It was just one of them lessons that you only did like a, prior to year 10, 11, you just did it like once a week or something. Yeah. And it was oh, it was quite shit really. I didn't really like the teacher. <clears throat> she was mental. Yeah. No. There's no so reason to not like someone. Mate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no. I didn't I get not. drama as GCSE <laughs> like when we first... Like got our what found out. You mean what you subjects. didn't get the GCSE? <laughs> <laughs> well, we found out what subjects we did uh, were going to do. Yeah, uh, drama wasn't in it. Like even though I wanted to do it, ah. they gave me history instead, which I wanted to do. But um, when I found out I wasn't doing drama, I just cried. Oh. Were, you, were you actually crying or were you just uh, pretending? No, no, I'm not. <laughs> Look how good I am. <laughs> my mum had to phone the school. I can do shocked. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad's here. <laughs> could do uh, gauzy eye. <laughs> so, Tom, yeah. how did A-level drama go? Did you get the bug? I think so. No, it was... <laughs> again, I, I tried it. I didn't think... It, I was all right at it. Um, it was decent, but then I took, um, I took a bit of time off after A-levels. I wasn't really sure what I was going to do. Yeah. And then just decided to do comedy. Yeah. Um, well, I've always yeah, been able to get a laugh. Mm. Usually, a little bit, sometimes. Yeah. 
I don't know. I was I was never really sure. Um, so comedy was the first kind of proper decision I made to go into something that might be surrounding your parents went this is your <laughs> first proper decision <laughs> you picked a fucking comedy course <laughs> your dad shouted from his treehouse <laughs> you are no longer welcome in here <laughs> oh, Yorkshire no family from there so Tom did you audition for uni I did how did that go so we get there and it's it's just we start off playing I think we're playing cat and mouse or something oh what's the mm. game where head sound thumbs up so, something like that something shit to warm up uh, we're just running around the room digging each other mm. uh, and then we get put into so we all sit down and one by one we get brought up and we just get told to walk around and feel the space uh, oh, yeah, and man. when and play with levels and when the moment feels right just deliver a line maybe yeah. a word to oh, just a yeah, bit of your monologue yeah, I think I did that yeah so you didn't really need to prepare anything. I could have just said one fucking word over yeah. and over again. It would have been fine. Shattered um, beans. Yeah. I think it was harder to not get on the course. I honest. think so, yeah. They were giving it out to anyone. Yeah, they were desperate. <laughs> yeah, good question, guys. So uh, my oh, first sorry, roles just, were in... Yeah. I think I would have got bullied in my, my school if it wasn't for drama. Because yeah. that's mm. when people saw... Oh, oh, you had something funny. about you. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This kid's got value. He's on the spectrum, we think. Because <laughs> um, I remember a hard kid came into uh, to our form and he was in our drama <laughs> class. I was, I was like dead scared of him because he'd got expelled from a different school. And he uh, he saw me in uh, in drama class and then he uh, he thought it was funny. He also called me fathead, so, you know, mixed emotions. <laughs> Troubled child. Yeah, imagine being called that, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't call you fathead. All right. So, yeah, <laughs> drama. Love drama. Took it at GCSE. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was really good at drama. <laughs> Acting wise, that is. Yeah. A star. Our theory lessons were just pretty much let's play games. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, so I was I was terrible at theory. Uh, did it at A level. Uh, again, <clears throat> good at acting. Terrible at theory. Came out with a C and that should have got a B. Terrible. Yeah. Uh, and then yeah, uni. I uh, I auditioned for John Moore's University for a drama course, and everyone in that. Uh, in the audition, dead serious monologue, oh, Shakespeare, all awful. of this stuff, and I was last to go. And I was just sat there pretty much from the get-go. I was like, oh, fuck. I've, <laughs> I've got this comedy monologue from, yeah, a play, for other ten. from a play that I found a couple of nights before. I was like, oh, this isn't going to go well. But I just did it, and uh, it went really well. Got a lot of laughs, and then people were like, oh, if you do the course, will you be in my group for, like older students were saying that, uh, for whatever shows they do. <laughs> I auditioned for Salford and like you say it was just yeah. walk around the room there's only six people in my audition I was the only comedy student uh, <laughs> so they were all again staff. again <laughs> pretentious and I was just like oh fucking hell yeah. just yeah. Didn't, yeah. didn't know what I was doing when I paid the £50 to go to do the central Fiddy, thing, mate. Fiddy quid, Fiddy yeah. quid. I forgot my lines as I was doing the audition. <laughs> oh, of course you did. It was so awkward. Oh. <laughs> I was doing some audition about so, a monologue about this guy on a train yeah. seeing an old woman jump out of a window. And he was, yeah, it was like, oh, in this moment she was flying. In that moment she was... <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Let's just pretend to be a tree at this point. <laughs> <laughs> they won't notice. Please, please you me. just panicked, didn't you? Yeah. Only me, I can. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I'd never do that. Uh, should we get into Stephen Lai? The, Im- the improv yeah. king was born. Stephen Lai, Stephen <laughs> Smith, Lies. Lies. This week we have returning detective Ryan Locke. Yeah. Ooh. Who, uh, Ooh. who aced his first case. Well yeah. done, mate. Who, who do you want to go first, Ryan? Uh, let's start with Max. Yeah, man. I did a monologue for Jack P. Shepard. Ooh. <laughs> Tom? Um, on the uh, opening night of uh, a play I was in, in year 11, a school play, uh, I inexplicably started doing an accent in my first line that I had to continue throughout the whole play. Because it's right. inexplicable, you won't be able to explain it tonight. Yeah. yeah. And Stephen? Yeah, man. What was your story? Stole the girl's pants, G. <laughs> <laughs> what? Stole the girl's pants. Then G is in gangster. Right, okay. No, don't clap. Joe, don't be brought down to his level. Come on, mate. So Join that, me. <laughs> is, that, is that it? You stole a girl's pants? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Need I say any more? I can, I can just I can expand right. on that if you want. Yeah, yeah. So I was in, a, I was in drama class. Right. Uh, and from my previous stories, that still is true. Yeah? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was with my mate. 
Yeah, one of the few lads in that class. Uh, we had uh, we had our first show of the ladies. <laughs> Ratio was talking about five to one in terms of uh, gals to lads. Anyway, you were asking about why I stole girls' pants. <laughs> yeah. Me and my mate trying to impress the uh, the gal then. I was trying to impress him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> doing high kicks. Uh, he did one. I thought, I may be a portly boy, but I can throw my legs higher than that, mate. Uh, so I, uh, I did a big kick. Rip my kicks. Oh, no, Stephen, you idiot. Uh <laughs> I think my chafing thighs have probably torn the cotton away a little bit anyway. So uh, this was first first lesson of the day. I thought, I don't want to spend you know, the rest of the you know, school day with ripped pants. You know, I've got, got uh, enough targets on my back. So I, uh, <laughs> I went hunting around the back curtain, just thinking, oh, there might be a bit of costume I can wear yeah. underneath the pants. And I found some shorts. I thought, oh, yeah, perfect. And this girl went, oh, yeah, just put those on. So I did, put them on. And uh, <laughs> just running around the classroom, there, working up a bit of a sweat. Uh, this girl goes, "Where's my, where's my PE kit gone?" <laughs> I'm just like, "Oh no!" Yeah. <laughs> Little does she know, my sweaty testicles have dripped all over that. <laughs> so I just go over to her and just go, I, uh, "I'm wearing your pants." <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and she asks why. I said, "Just do me high kicks." <laughs> and she goes, "Can't do it then." So I rip her short. <laughs> uh, it was a Friday as well. Yeah, so yeah. I had to take them home for the weekend. <laughs> And uh, just keep working up a sweat. <laughs> yeah. Just because something called uh, is it pheromones, thermones, like pheromones, that? pheromones. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. to get as many of those in it. She was a sweet chick. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't work. Oh. Uh, no, so I washed them. I washed them with clean soapy suds. Nice. Lo and behold, they were dry. Cometh Monday when I returned them to her. And that Ryan was the first time I spoke to a female. Okay. Who hadn't breastfed me. <laughs> Apart from my sister. sister class. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you for that. Or Nan, sorry. Uh, mm. Tom? Yep. I like getting dust. Uh, your story? Uh, I was, we were doing um, our day out, and I was near 11. I was the bus driver. Yeah, and, uh, bus wanker. Bus wanker, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's a Scouse play, and some people were doing accents... I, I didn't have that many lines and kind of but somehow like my inner you did before the show though yeah <laughs> <laughs> naughty driver yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I, I don't know why um, I've, sometimes I dabbled with doing it in Scouse but I couldn't maintain the accent I wasn't very good at it um, so uh, would you better give us give I think us my line first now? line that came out was um, <laughs> don't move <laughs> That's Wirral. St- stop right there. <laughs> Plastic scouts. Um, Very much Ringo star of the yeah, but I, uh, <laughs> So I just came out with it and, and I was looking at, and obviously other people were mm. surprised because, and they could see the fear in my eyes. But yeah. yeah. I thought I'd made a mistake because uh, I also had to kind of sing um, uh, a solo as well, which I get to do. I'm not going to sing the solo. Oh, come um, on. For the well, listeners well, at home. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't terrible. What but did you have to sing? A, a song about me being a bus driver. <laughs> Oh, okay. So yeah. it was written for you. This is my bus. I'm the boss of the bus. I like that. Yeah, yeah. I like driving that. Driving it for fifteen years. This is my bus. I'm the boss of the bus. So just pin back your ears. Fuck you. Man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you're turning the light, there's no need for that, was yeah, there? Yeah. <laughs> no need. Uh, anyway, yeah, I just had to carry the accent on, and it was a bit. Uh, shoddy at times it mm. kind of slipped and I was a bit annoyed at myself the teacher asked me why I did it and I said I don't know it'd be fucking crushes it just came out fair enough Max hello dropped it for this your, uh, your story was it Jack <laughs> B. Shepherd. he plays somebody yeah. on Coronation Street okay right David I think right uh, he used to come into Lime Bar a lot okay so he's a football supporter no <laughs> idea what team um, but yeah I did a monologue for him. Right. What's did, football did, support? Did, going fucking with hell. Did you ask? He works. He works right. at. Uh, he works on Coronation Street. Yeah, yeah. Did you just? No, do a I monologue? sort of. We, we were talking. Oh, you right. know. I knew him quite. I don't <laughs> know him well. But the friends have you? Oh come on, mate. No. It's Jackie P. <laughs> Can't say no to him, can I? Apparently not. <laughs> fucking did me well. Well, what kind of things did you talk about? What the football was like. I don't know oh. much about football. <laughs> I'm sorry, Max Smith talking about the football. Yeah, I ask questions. Well, well, Who are you playing against? Was it usually drink? San Miguel. San Miguel. I've got a picture with him if you want Who to see Who did he it. support? Uh, Liverpool. Okay. And you'd ask him about the game. He'd come in for the football. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be like, what are you here for? The football. Oh, fuck off, Jack P. Shepard. I mean, we didn't really show like Liverpool matches, really, did we? Ooh, yeah, top of the league I think you would I think you would I think you would Liverpool one of the biggest biggest <laughs> <laughs> biggest 
and best teams in the in the Champions League and world. God, Cassius, uh, Cassius Clay, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> ah, this is a really hard one. They're all very convincing. Is it hard? <laughs> really? <laughs> Fucking Cassius Clay <laughs> over there. <laughs> Fucking Scouse bus driver. <laughs> Fucking panty thief. Yeah. At least mine was believable. Fucking Cassius. Fucking Jack P. Shepherd. Manchester born actor. Yeah. Liverpool. Yeah. Are you a moron? No. Oh. Fucking Scouse <laughs> bus driver singing about pinning back people's ears. That's the song. Focus on the road, sir. <laughs> yeah, I'm the number one. I'm the driver, man. And your kids don't get on till I say you can. <laughs> and I support Liverpool yeah. even though I was born I in Manchester. Don't want no lemonade, no sweets. <laughs> oh, yeah. Alright, yep. okay. All day. This is all day. Uh, so, I'll start with what I think's lying. Yep. Um, Max, I think you're lying. <laughs> what? Really? I did not you're, see that You're thing. out of here, sir. Really? I believe that you might have met him, but Ooh. I think your thought process was, oh, an act story, act, you know. Too much story. of an obvious story, don't you think, Ryan? Yeah. I just, I, I've, I've no I doubt mean, you, you didn't even might talk about the monologue. You didn't ask him about the monologue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it didn't even come you up. You asked him what beer yeah. he had. I asked him. <laughs> <laughs> I asked him that is a beer. Did you talk about anything else? back, I asked, I asked, why did you do the monologue? didn't even Address yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the only reason I asked about the beer is because I wanted to see, like, you know, what. Nice detective work. You were trying detective. to catch him out, but you didn't bother asking him Don't, about the actual thing that I he did. said happened. I did, and he said. Anyway, uh, so so Max is out of view. It's so. never happened yeah, anyway. Fifty-fifty yeah, share. Um, <laughs> can either choose the, uh, the right or the wrong way. You know? uh, so Stephen. Yeah, man. You want to ask um, more questions, do you? I'm going to say you're lying. Call me a liar. Which is a. Uh, it's a very good story. You're saying I was making up to acting, good story. Yeah, and it wasn't convincing. <laughs> and I, I believe that you chafe something you could do. <laughs> you believe I could rip pants? Thank I you. I believe. <laughs> I believe I could chafe so much that my pants easily ripped. Yeah. Um, and you believe so, you'd Tom, give them I think back. you're telling the truth, yep. only because uh, I don't know if you prepared the song, but I don't know. It's the song that got it, won it. For yeah. Me. Yeah. Thought it might. So. Two for two, well done. Oh, yeah, hey. but actually. Oh. <laughs> Dickhead. I don't want to wait it. You were celebrating. Oh. Oh, I'm in it. It's a key quiz in. Beedo. 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 Wrongen. Ah, gutted. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah man. Really Fucking hell. So yeah. stupid, Ryan. It's so obvious. <laughs> Did you ever have this thing, maybe, uh, we all have lads in our school. Yeah, Unless someone stuck into an old girl's school. <laughs> in which case, you've never brought it up. Uh, it would have been great if you had. In my school, it seemed to be a tendency where there was always one group of lads whose whole play would just be a fight scene. Did you ever have that? Yeah. Was that you? No. <laughs> one week, I remember we sort of thought, oh, they're always having fights. We'll have a fight scene. And it was going really well until the uh, lads just picked up one of the... One of the chairs, like the plastic folding chairs that we had, but he didn't realise, I think he might have, that uh, on the other side, the underside of it, there's a metal, like, steel bit. and uh, That's not good. No, he hit me over the head with it. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I went along with it for the scene. <laughs> Probably I was playing a dead person, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, that was rough. Um, <laughs> nice touch with the bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Max, worst thing you've done for a laugh? <laughs> oh, say 26 God. episodes of this. <laughs> Mm. Worst thing I've done for a laugh. Uh, the guitar over the head. <clears throat> yeah, it's one. Of, it's some, definitely something for the channel. When you jumped in the river and it was freezing. Yeah, the one in uh, Saint Helens. That looked grim. That hey, was the worst you one. were really scared before that one. <laughs> I thought it was going to be really shallow. That was yeah. why I didn't want to jump in. Yeah, man. Uh, and I jumped in, and it turns out it wasn't shallow. It was very, very deep. We didn't see him for a week. You yeah. thought you'd stood on a body at one point, didn't you? Yeah, I was coming out and it was just <laughs> sludge and... Oh. Off. Yeah, oh. you put your foot down, you can feel something break away. Yeah. And your foot go through it. Um, bought your hot chocolate afterwards, though, didn't I? <sighs> Thank you. Tom treated you. <laughs> uh, Tom, what about you? The, the lens you'd go to for a, for a roll? Uh, don't know. Um, <laughs> my characters are pretty... Sometimes you wear a, a wig and glasses. Straight down the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah I love the wig. The wigs, yeah. <coughs> you know, the wigs, uh, like it. it's my thing now. Um, yeah, the writing wigs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking wigs. What was that weird gay character? <laughs> Which one? For Gogglebox. 
You weren't a gay character. You were a, a wife, weren't you? So I don't think that's ever been seen. Maybe it is in one of the YouTube videos, but uh, we played. We did a bit oh, of Gogglebox. Oh, yeah, yeah. When I'd, I'd bugger him in the arse. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it was that I'd shag him in the arse. Oh, that was it, yeah. 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 I, thought you were, I thought you were a woman for that. Oh, no, you weren't. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, it was, uh, yeah, I forgot about that. That no, was good. In our third year, we did a big sort of, we got comedy projects, which is where you could do anything really. And uh, we did a big play. Yeah. Um, had video elements to it. Ryan wasn't in our group. He yeah. thought he'd go with better off, people, yeah. 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 How did that work out for you, mate? Yeah, I regret it now. Hey, Tom, how's that first? Good, isn't it? Yeah, really good. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so me and, uh, didn't graduate yeah. <laughs> even that student lifestyle baby yeah granddad fuck <laughs> 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 off granddad <laughs> fuck you sorry <laughs> <laughs> I've seen someone pick up the degree by going on with them <laughs> <laughs> what are they called Simmer uh, frame, Simmer frame. Yeah. Yeah. there we go uh, or as you call it quimmer frame yeah no oh, yeah sexy mate that's it <laughs> the worst thing I've done <laughs> Is dress up as Tinky Winky and get shagged by Tom and Matt. <laughs> Great friend that, that of the show. That was classy. That was a classy joke, mate. <laughs> Occupado. And no one else could have done it but you. <laughs> Promised that uh, my face wasn't going to be in there. Oh, what would you believe you could, anyone? You could barely see it. In, and it was in an... Uh, <laughs> just pause. Outtakes. <laughs> No one's going to pause that. So yeah, we did uh, the Outcast production, it yep. was called. Um, <laughs> I'll talk to you. And, uh, <laughs> and that, was, uh, that was quite good. It was. For our time. Yeah. Uh, we did a... Uh, Max was in it. Yeah. We completely I, forgot then. Max, did you play cheers. a posh character? Uh, a pl- yeah. So I said to Humphrey, I said I'd, to rather Humphrey I'd rather die. I'd rather die than be seen in a cup of soup. It was a confused kind of... Play. Play where a group of... Degenerates? Yeah. Um, outcast students. Oh, yeah. That's troubled what? students uh, put on... Um, School play. With the help of their clearly... Uh, Inappropriate. Uh, yeah, inappropriate teacher. Which I played. Um, uh, his own me. spin on The Wizard of Oz. Mr. Yeah. Yanker. Yeah. Basically, the, the premise was we had to do our play. The school yeah. put it on to because they wanted a, the main school play, which wins awards. And they thought, we need to get rid of the uh, yeah. the problem children out the way and the worst teacher. So they, that's what our play was. Yeah. Lo and behold, there's a car crash. Uh, oh, that was it. Bus, bus crash, wasn't there? Early on the of Zoe Diak. And, yeah. uh, and we had to do our play. <laughs> Course, a big crash with all the school kids. They still got ahead with the play that night. <laughs> Should have seen that coming. I was in some skimpy shorts, yeah. and little vest, and uh, dancing to call on me. That was good. Uh, again, doing sexual positions with uh, Tom McManus. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that's uh, the extent I'd go to for a laugh. I also used to fall over a lot in early sketches. Yeah. I yeah. Still, I'm yeah. still game for a fall. Um, so, yeah. We, we're all game for a laugh here. Let's get into TV work, if you will. Me and Max have an instance. It wasn't TV work, but it was for, for a, a Facebook page called On The Tools. Yeah. Juicens. It was an advert for Juicens. And I played one of the builders. I looked about 16 at the time. <laughs> we apprentice. Yeah, Max played the more senior. <laughs> Granddad. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> you played uh, yeah, one of the proper builders. Yeah, yeah proper builder. <laughs> Retire <mate>. already. Yeah. <laughs> He's just there for his pension. And uh, there's another guy with us. That at the time, it was one of the hottest days. <laughs> Me and Max were coming from separate train stations. I was so panicked about Max getting there on time. Uh, he didn't. didn't, did he? No, it was so fucking late. Embarrassing. Yeah. One of our first paid gigs in a... Uh, you go AWOL. <laughs> Turn up, walking around the corner, <laughs> dripping with sweat. <laughs> I think I got off at the wrong train station. Yeah. Then got on the wrong train or something like that. And then they told me to leave and go right. I think I went left. Right, so I was yeah. walking down the road for about ten, ten minutes. Yeah. Bad. But, you know, I've changed now. That turned out really well, though, that video. Yeah. It did well. Yeah. Myself and Ryan, we had to be extras once for rehearsals. It was so weird. Yeah, the BBC, yeah. technically hired by the BBC, mm. got uh, paid £10 for the day. That's not even minimum wage. Oh. They think I'm going to pay my TV licence. Fuck yeah. off. BBC fucking love you, man. Yeah. Yeah, God. Oh, yeah, your second job with the BBC. Yeah. Um, or your third if you get one of your dad's movies. hey Hey. I'm joking, your racist father wouldn't do Guess that. Get some use out of that Tin Man. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So it was for a thing called uh, Funs and Games. Yeah, an uh, Edinburgh show. Phil, Phil Ellis. Um, yeah, so it was an Edinburgh show. Yep. And then the BBC were going to try and make a pilot of it. And we were rehearsing for that pilot. We, we just had to pretend to be audience <laughs> we, members. We. <laughs> we, we. 
Uh, like Stephen yeah. and I and a few others had to pretend to be audience members for him. Yeah, be the volunteers that are coming up. I remember one time one of the one of the guys that I uh, suggested a, a little angle for a joke to go with, and I think he said like, uh, he just basically went, you know, we we'll do the jokes around here, sort of thing. Where are you now, mate? Yeah, where are you now? <laughs> On the list, that's where he fucking yeah. is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. On the fucking <laughs> list. Fucking the- <laughs> Sit comfy yeah. next to Santander, you prick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Do you remember our first opportunity with the BBC? Oh, oh. yes, lad. It was uh, Halloween, wasn't it, I believe? <laughs> yeah. Go on, Tom. With Phil Ellis, I believe. That oh, was it. Oh, he was there. Yeah. Oh, he was yeah, he was. Yeah. was yeah. Well, we were led to believe that we were having some opportunity to work yeah. with the BBC. This on This is like, no oh, mark on Phil yeah, Ellis, by yeah, the way. Yeah. On this comedy week. Uh, and it, it just, it was a shit show, wasn't it? it? Was uh, you didn't turn up in the end, did you? No, I did the final one. Did I just you? didn't go to rehearsals because I knew what was going to happen. Yeah. yeah, it's awful. Oh, it was ridiculous. Basically, a tram was going to go past. <laughs> and on that tram, Phil Ellis was going to be doing stand-up to some people. Who worked yeah. at Media City. Lo and behold, it was Harvester staff. No yeah. offence to Harvester, <laughs> but it's Toby Carvey country yeah. around here. A couple of our teachers. <laughs> yeah. And then we just had to kind of be like a flash mob at a tram stop. Were you, and they just they just drove past. Yeah. You guys were on the you guys were on the first. I was on the first, and I was just lying on the floor. We the were second, different. The second stop was so funny. <laughs> so basically, the second stop. I think we have told this before. Oh, okay. Yeah. Keep it brief. Yeah. Okay. It was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's go to Stephen Price. Hey, Stephen, sweet little Price. Stephen Price. So uh, last week was about Halloween, and the winner of that will have got a rollover because in the second week, two people got it right. Neither of them were following the Twitter page. Oh, don't oh, don't just use us for money, yeah? <laughs> Get in the bin. Anyway, we now list. move on to the 24th of November. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Those autumnal nights becoming winter nights, <laughs> becoming lonely nights. <laughs> on Friday at my friend's house, he had a ladder going up to the loft. There was a lot of... There. Two words, guys. We're looking for... The second one's a noun, specifically an animal sort of thing. The first word is describing what it, state it was in. Okay? Fucking rats. Hey, do you, do you want some entertainment, guys? Yes, please. It doesn't finish, that day doesn't finish there. There's more. This morning our car was frozen, so I had to scrape all the ice off the car. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, mum. <laughs> <laughs> Work, boy! <laughs> uh, that was Stephen Pro- Remember, get, get on Twitter at yeah. Tries Podcast and enter it because you could win a mediocre prize. Now, Max. Hello. You have a great story about West Side Story. Yeah, so uh, I was obviously off, off some crop key. Mm. Big part of the show. So everyone's outside doing the song. I'm in the back of the stage, you know, remembering my lines, getting everything <laughs> sorted, putting my little hat on. The song stops. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> Clapping starts. Yeah, man. People are ready for crop key. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm ready to give it to them. <laughs> Just <been> your life. <laughs> yeah. So I run out onto the stage. <laughs> and I was about to say stop to all these kids. Yeah. Uh, it was like, so it's the first night, the audience with people that they've got in, you know, yeah, giving yeah, them yeah. free tickets, whatnot. And the front section is clearly it's from a school with milfs. children. Oh, right. <laughs> proper milfs, mate. <laughs> and I just get so distracted. <laughs> the front section is full of children from a, a special needs school. Yeah. Uh, and there's one kid at the front screaming Krupp key. Crop key, crop key, which first of all shocked me because this kid knows West Side Story. Yeah. Uh, well, like he was scared. Right? <laughs> crop key, know. it was just like crop key, crop key. You know, it's a fun word. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah. Can't uh, that. And so, I I snort with laughter. <laughs> I turn around. There's about twenty, you know, twenty of my peers. They're all waiting for me to say the line. What's the line? I can't remember. <laughs> Uh, and they're all looking at me I've got tears streaming down my face as a kid continues to scream crop key crop key oh. that was my first ever proper big act did you get the line out eventually yeah eventually yeah. after someone showered it at me so I can say it, say it. ever forgot a line on stage uh, messed up a line off stage so the line was I've increased your rent from £100 to £200 but I said I've increased your rent from £100 to one hundred pounds, <laughs> and the actors on stage just like, "Oh, that's that's reasonable." <laughs> and then I realised I was like, "Oh, fuck 
<laughs> um, Dickhead. I remember when uh, I was doing a, a play in school. Bugsy Malone? Is that a play? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was doing that. Um, Child Gangsters, is that Yeah, right? yeah I got yeah. palmed off with one of the shit characters, so I uh, oh. wasn't happy about it. Didn't give him my full attention, yeah. Anyway, me and this lad who were playing two detectives, I'd say lad loosely, um, we, were, <laughs> <laughs> we were just backstage, you know, playing with some chicks. <laughs> there was a kid who was in year seven. I think I was in year ten. Uh, this kid called Duncan. I, I remember laughing at his name being Duncan. Mm. <laughs> just so persistent with trying to punch me in the penis. Mm. Just kept doing it, just whacking me in the penis. It was awful. Uh, sort of endearing in a way. Uh, Oh, don't carry on. <laughs> Duncan, I'm getting changed now. Don't follow me. <laughs> Seriously, I'm going to hold this door forever. Um, so there was a lot of stuff going on backstage. And uh, I co- I completely missed my cue with my mate to go on. I say mate loosely. And so we just completely missed our cue. Yeah. And then our cue was supposed to be like music plays as we step each time. Mm. So we completely missed that. <laughs> Then the next time we come on, the music isn't playing. So we're just stepping like this. <laughs> and it starts playing right at the end as we get there. It's embarrassing, but uh, you know, you live with those sort of things. Yeah, right? yeah. Favourite actors. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to shout out some of mine, and uh, you can say yes or no. Uh, Stephen Graham. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All good yeah, with that? Good. good actor? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know who that is? No. <laughs> Fucking hell. Don't, don't come here and lie. Al Capone in Boardwalk Empire. Uh, uh, I've not seen Boardwalk. Combo in This Is England. I've not seen This Is England. Fuck it? off. Have you watched Line of Duty? He's in season no, I've not seen Line of Duty. It's on the, it's on the list. Oh. You're on the fucking list. <laughs> Sit tight with uh, some shitty comedian in Santander, mate. Uh, anyway, Stephen McGrain, really good yeah. actor. Arguably yeah. one of the best British actors around at the moment. Yeah. Christian Bale? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. His body transformations. Yeah, right. yeah. Oh, it's ridiculous. Be... You sound hesitant, Ryan. Well, oh, yeah, I know Christian Bale. Uh, the, I don't know personally. The film he did before The Dark Knight. What the was machinist? that called? Yeah, and he's yeah, he's just he's so flat, gaunt. Yeah. It's yeah. ridiculous. It's, like, it's worrying, under, isn't it? He had an apple and a glass of water a day. Wow. Yeah. And then in like five months, he had to bulk up for Batman. Hmm. Injections, methinks. Tom, you fan of Killian Murphy? Mm. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, I've not seen him in loads. Um, only a little bit. Jonathan Crane, Batman before, Begins. But is it something yeah, Thank you, bit, IMDb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, it's twice. He's, he's great in Peaky Blinders. It's a he's great, great. Yeah, he's made that. He's made that role his own. Such an iconic. Yeah. Moments. Um, what about you, Ryan? I think my favourite actor would have to be Tom Hanks. Ooh. Oh, oh, Epstein oh. Island. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Greece. Epstein Island. You said you didn't care, didn't you? <laughs> oh, I never said that. <laughs> oh, you said um, you yeah. said if Tom Hanks goes there, I'm going there. Yeah. <laughs> you said I'm uh, gonna pack my bags, I believe. <laughs> just think all the films he's been in. I mean, it's between him and like Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> between him yeah. and Kevin Spacey. <laughs> big fan of indie movies, aren't you? Just be a big fan of Kevin Spacey. Yeah, I used to be a big fan of Kevin Spacey. Yeah. I wasn't. Uh, big fan of Steve Carell. Um, yeah, yeah, very yeah. good. Yeah. Have we got any? Yeah. Have we got, let's get some females in this list. Uh, Need I say Whoopi Goldberg? <laughs> <laughs> in Rat Race, great film. Oh, that's a great film. There you go. Whoopi, yeah, yeah. Whoopi's great in that. Whoopi. Amy Poehler. Um, yeah, Tina Fey. Yeah, yeah Tina Fey. Oh, um, yeah. What's Maggie Smith? Uh, yeah. Downton Abbey, you know. <laughs> Have you gone from Amy Poehler to fucking Maggie Smith? It's not Maggie Smith. I miss Crane. Dave. Where's Dave? <laughs> you know, <laughs> fucking Maggie Smith. <laughs> like Saggy Smith. Like <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Saggy. <laughs> saggy Grandpa. <laughs> That's good. You Saggy Grandpa in a minute. <laughs> no. Right. Saggy anyway, uh, originals. Oh. speaking of great actors and stuff, uh, it's now time for IMAX. <laughs> IMAX has a passion for acting. Yeah? IMAX knows that without great acting, you cannot get great movies. Tell me one great movie that has bad acting in it, and I'll say, that's wrong. The room, the room. To you, yeah. I was invited to act in a movie, fresh new movie, uh, and I went there and I gave it my best. What movie was it, sir? The Artist. Oh! Yeah. Starring my good friend, John Goodman. This is... You in the artist. Yes. Well done. With John Goodman. And we don't mean him going twos up on Vincent van Gogh. (laughs) Welcome to the IMAX experience. Enjoy the show. Wow, what a treat. 
here I am on the set of 2011's Oscar-winning film The Artist, ready to sink my acting chops into a great character. Oh, snap. Here comes Disney legend award winner John Goodman. What's up, John? What's up? I feel like I've got so much to learn from you, sir. As a movie reviewer, actually being on the silver screen is a real treat. And congratulations to you. Thanks, sir. So it appears I'm playing the plucky assistant to your angry director. What a team will be. Oh, look, it's time to start filming. Looks like you forgot your line, John. Shut the fuck up. What? You're the one who didn't say anything. I didn't come here to talk. What? Oh, look, here's the director again. Remember, John, your lines. Sorry, John, but you've done it again. Shut the fuck up. This director is fucking furious with you, John. Do you need more time to practice? Fuck you. You're out of your element. Fuck you, John. I'm a mega film reviewer. I think I know how shit is done. Shut the fuck up, man. Don't act like Hollywood isn't holding on to every word the number one reviewer on the Stephen Tries podcast is saying. There's 4,000 other people in this world. Fuck you. Oh, God, it's John's fault, Mr. Director. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, that's rich! You're forgetting all your lines. I didn't come here to talk! You fucking dickhead. You want a piece? Let's fucking go for it. <laughs> Where? John bumped my little knee. I've fallen and I can't get up. Shut the fuck up! Oh, it's a silent movie. It all makes sense now, laughing my ass off. Anyway, John, you don't seem happy. What's up? My wife's gone. Oh. At least I can walk around the house in my underwear again. That's our John. Let's go, buddy. Best friend. Yes, me best friend. Uh, Max, <laughs> uh, interesting stuff, mate. Thank you. So that was this week, was it? The yeah, 2011 that was this week. movie. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yep. yep. Well, wow. just doing a few shoots for the DVD. It's coming out soon. Yeah, yeah. looking yeah. forward to that. Thank you. Uh, still speak to John Goodman? Nope. So you announced that you were best friends this week. Yep. And already, you know, no things things change. Think you know the tides of time yeah. keep uh, rolling up the bay of. It, life. it sounded like your lines were on like half speed. It was like, oh look, here comes the director. <laughs> it's just me talking. <laughs> Oh look, here comes the director. That was That's, quicker. Yeah, it's a lot more enthusiasm than pepping that, mate. It just seems that you get these great opportunities that and you're so excited for, and I've never heard you sound so depressed. Well, you <laughs> know, Maybe because you went to America. To yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> during, during a pandemic. pandemic. Exactly. Shouldn't wow. you be isolated? <laughs> Very sick. Do you, uh, you look a little bit tired today. Do you want to go have a Red Bull? Yeah, if that's come on, mate. Yeah. Can you go find it for me, please? Yeah. Oh, I was just going out for a kiss, but. <laughs> You alright, love? <laughs> oh no. Hi, mate. Hi. Ooh, coochie coo, isn't it cool in here? <laughs> um, and you are? I'm Hollywood. Just sit down, I'm mate. Oscar Worthy. Just sit down, mate. You want to sit, dear? I don't really conform to that sort of shit. Oh, lardy, <laughs> bloody dog. Just, just get a mid shot if you want. Just there, down. It's cool. No, oh, don't get a picture of that. You want a picture of these? Ooh. I'll sit now. So guys, um, you probably recognise me from stage and screen. Mm. Maybe you don't. <laughs> Basically, I'm here today because I've spotted uh, this little chump has stepped in for uh, David. Mm. I could play the role of David if you want. I'm a, I'm a trained actor. I went to RADA for 18 time frame. You know, <laughs> I've I've done it. I've done it all. Stage and screen. Right. You aren't cut out for this, mate. <laughs> this guy doesn't stand a chance in the real world. You want to get on stage, you don't stand a chance. <laughs> <laughs> you don't stand a chance. <laughs> My character was supposed to laugh. Though. I'm nervous. I, okay. I haven't been banging this dad in a Tin Man outfit for the last three months. But you've just swung in here with your little glasses on. And take it from me. Sorry, I didn't catch your name. Yeah. I'm Hollywood. But I caught a whiff of your horrendous perfume. I've been going to Prada for the last three months. I think we've been <laughs> in a pandemic, darling. 
I don't give a fuck. <laughs> You've traipsed in here. This is a fiddle me. Trying to upstage me. Guess what? I'm always upstage. Yeah? You're around the back of the curtains. Yeah, banging your dad, mate. <laughs> Bang anyone's dad for a bit, you my know. Dad, my dad may be a producer, but he isn't going to give you a role. You've got enough, hun. <laughs> oh, that was Oscar, daddy, bloody dad. That was Oscar worthy right there. <laughs> we could, we, you can make us improv a scene if you want. Stick Absolutely. me up against, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, sure. this imbecile. Uh, uh, we, oh, shit, you bus? Uh, yeah. Why don't you um, shut your mouth? See okay. what that gets you in life, eh? Uh, Hollywood, you're a, you're a bus driver, and uh, you don't have enough change to get on the bus. Yeah, well, okay, that is a challenge because I'm a successful actor. <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm used to having. But you need to get home. I'm used to having plenty of notes and car- cards. Right, more so. into riding than driving. Yeah. Okay, ready? Three, two, that's one. Just, that's just rude. Action. Excuse me, bus driver. I'm still driving my bus. I've I not d- parked it yet to let you on. You're just trying to ruin the scene there. Have you noticed that? Have you noticed that, guys? Yeah, yeah you're not really yeah. playing Are you the kidding? Rules, Look at me. I'm not just doing this sitting down, am I? Hollywood. I mean, you're, you're a More fucking... More like Hollywood at improv. Should we start again? Should we start again? Uh, so <laughs> try and lead off what the other says. So if, oh, he, if he says, hey, bus driver, mm. means you've stopped. Okay. Put, putting the wood in Hollywood. Yeah. That's how she gets about. <laughs> That's Oscar worthy. <laughs> Maybe you'd like to be the bus driver. Not really. Okay. I've, I've, I've already got in the zone okay. here of, of passing. Start again. Yeah. Three, two, one, scene. Excuse me there. Hello, mate. I would like to take a ride upon this bus. However, money hath escaped me. <laughs> You've got no change. <laughs> You've read my mind and lips. Could I please still ride the bus? I'm a good, honourable person of society. I will I will keep you in my notes. Maybe a Christmas card will you know, lie upon thy uh, doorstep. Yes, and? <laughs> <laughs> and maybe something at Easter. Maybe a cream egg. Okay. But at this present time, I have lost my wallet. I said okay. Slash purse. <laughs> and I do not have it upon me. Okay. Thank you very much, bus driver. No, thank you. You're very kind and polite, young boy. You want me to suck your dick? <laughs> and that's just rude, isn't it? You know, what sort of a bus driver would do that? Are you still in character? <laughs> well, I am. I'm talking to the, the other passengers. No, there's no other passengers. <laughs> right, so you're just, you're, you're, you're just going... I'm not even a bus driver. There. Right. Uh, this I'm isn't even a fucking competition at this point, is it really? No, you've got, I'm clearly you've got this numpty who's just saying they're not even a bus driver, they're not even sticking to the role. No, I'm in a re- recording studio. You couldn't studio. play David. I could, all right? You Ooh. just sit here and go, oh, I, 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 I'm a oh, proud of... No, I don't do that, that's, though. That's me being her <laughs> right there. That's acting chops. That, that's acting chops. Can yeah. we, uh, can we hear an impression of Dave's laugh? Okay, yeah. It's an yeah. audition. It's an could audition. The, yeah. Could the fat shit go first? Yeah, okay, so... Uh, <laughs> can the fat head let's hear, go first? Let's hear Dave. <laughs> fat head twat go first. I know it's doing fucking wink to add, but it's still poking out. Right, okay. So we'll have the audition. I need to have got a breast for this character. Go first. Right. Okay, Stephen, you can go first. Uh, you're Dave. I'm sorry, what? Sorry, uh... Stephen, was that, was that my... Sorry, was that my apologies. Stephen cat? normally oh. sits in that seat. Forget uh, about that, Tom. Oscar now. worthy, Oscar worthy. Uh, Thank you. You can go first. Thank you. You're Dave, trying to get on a bus without the correct change, and you're a bus driver. Oh, uh, does he... <sighs> right. <laughs> All right, Governor, I ain't got no change on me, but I still want to ride upon thy bus. Mate. Well, welcome aboard. <laughs> can I can I sit down on the, on the seats, but I don't have change. All right. Yeah. Fuck it. Thank you, Governor. Will you be in Dave as well? Yeah. That yeah, wasn't. Now okay. you see you see what we're dealing with yeah. here. A fucking numpty. <laughs> this no, not bearded, me. This bearded beast needs to piss off, if you ask me. Thanks so, for coming on Hollywood, though. Yeah. Cheers, Hollywood. Yeah. Off you waddle. <laughs> What a hideous lump, if you don't mind me saying. I, I can play the role of Dave, or I could just be Oscar Worthy, okay. who is, as we say, Oscar Worthy. Don't you have somewhere to go as well, Oscar Worthy? <laughs> I was hoping this was sort of an encore, maybe. Uh, I just stay here and, you know, you enjoy my presence. I don't have anything with me in terms of gaff- gifted... Ra- oh, God, I stumbled upon thy lines. <laughs> Forget this ever happened, please. Bye. 
Oh, no Red Bull, but I heard semen does the same thing, so you should be all right. Yeah, cheers, mate. <laughs> oh, no, for more alive. <clears throat> Miss anything? Nah, nothing, mate. <laughs> Good. You uh, preempted the edit. Tom, oh. we turn to you now for Tom Looney. Yay, Tom Looney, 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 Looney. 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 I've uh, never wanted a Tom Looney more than today. Due to some scheduling issues, uh, Tom Looney has been cancelled this week. Oh, that can't be right though, Tom, because so you sorry. said you've not been up to anything this week. I'm so sorry. Unfortunately, this week we have run into some problems. You said we there. Well, yeah, me and the staff, me and my researchers. Yeah. Me and the team. What, me, and the, me and the Tom <laughs> Looney Jeeves. team. All the search engines. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Okay, so do you, want, do you want to just say something wacky then? I could pass it over to Ryan. You've, uh, yeah. you, you, you want me to do Looney Cooney? Yeah, yeah. Right now. Tell a wacky story. <laughs> so there's no yeah. Tom Looney? No, not this oh. week. Oh, oh, boo! Well, you can look forward to a double serving of <laughs> Tom Looney. Fucking no <laughs> Yeah! Tom Minutes Tom no Booney. More. Yeah, mate. Yeah. Uh, fucking fat let down there. All right? That's enough about Hollywood. I hear. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, fat goes down. Make you know, she rest really. in peace. Uh, <laughs> she die. Yeah, kill herself on the way, on the way down. Um, should we have your sweet words though? From put it to the max. Yeah, absolutely. Patrick writing from New Zealand. Paddy, Paddy, Paddy. Hi, fellas. Um, New Zealand. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Blimey, governor. I've got a classic penis problem. Um, <laughs> Being a group of sexual deviants, I thought this question would be perfect for you lot. <laughs> yeah, I love fucking men, yeah. <laughs> to put it simply, my foreskin is way too tight on the head. I can't pull back, or at least it hurts when I try. I'm unsure Ooh. whether or not it's going to hurt when I finally do the deed. 20, uh, still a virgin. <laughs> Loser. Following in, following in Stephen's footsteps. Um, so my question is, should I just give it a crack and see if it hurts, uh, or go to the doctor and uh, cut the tip free? Listen up, Paddy. Have a hot bath. Soak your foreskin in there, and then uh, just get a pair of pliers and pull that back. Uh, but you should do, especially if you you wipe the end of your penis with a bit of tissue, because uh, those white bits get around on your bellend, don't they? They <laughs> do. <laughs> Great content. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Patrick. Realistically, you probably need to get circumcised. Um, yeah. That can be done very on easily. the podcast. A yeah, new segment. Yeah. yeah. The Live like on the podcast. Well. Tom Looney could do it next week. Yeah, yeah so yeah. Patrick, get in touch. And Tom will get in touch. <laughs> <laughs> Remain anonymous. Any advice? I'm moving in with a significant other of three years. That's it. Three years? Yeah. What that's can you expect? Yeah, a little bit of friction at the start, yeah. you know, getting moving in with someone else, you get to see their flaws. And I don't just mean laminate in the apartment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you've been with them for three years, it's... You should know them inside and out. Yeah. <laughs> Realistically, you'll, you'll find out more about each other yeah, in these like... first few weeks of living together than you probably have done for the three years if you haven't yeah. spent any time living together prior, because... You know, it's a lot more intense. You'll, yeah, man. There's yeah. this chance that things might get on your nerves mm. and you'll decide whether you... But you, you grow as a person through that, you know, yeah. Yeah. learn to accommodate. Mm -hmm. You don't need to be worried, though. And if I it's your own place, though, you know, yeah. that'd be good. Yeah. Run around with your willy out. Yeah. yeah. Um, <coughs> Max, you do that. Yeah. You live with two other people, man. Yeah. It's not on. We all do. Ah. Yeah. Willy out Friday. Yeah. Have you, have you ever been invited around to Max's? No, I've never been. Neither have Max's I. House. Yeah. Wouldn't go. Ever. Friday tomorrow, so... Uh, yeah, you got for coming around? Yeah. <laughs> you had me out for coming. <laughs> uh, that, no more questions? Uh, okay. Um, hello, Stephen, Looney, Cooney, Max and Dave. Sort of rhetorical, I believe, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Let's shoot that in the fucking head. No more questions, no. Uh, one more. You know what it is. It's the final question. <laughs> If you could be in any movie and any role, what would it be and why? Uh, I would be Trigger from Only Fools and Horses. Yeah, man. He's only in it for like five minutes and episodes, but he's he, every time he's on screen, he's funny. He's well valued, isn't he? He is. Yeah. He is well valued. Uh, what about you, Max? Uh, probably the Joker from The Dark Knight. Yeah. You know. <laughs> That'd be me. <laughs> Batman. Only me. Only me. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Bad boy joker, yeah? Turn up the streets. Yeah, man. Being mean. <laughs> Just putting your knife in people's mouths and get... Yeah. <laughs> Just covered in cake. Have you, have, you, have you been cutting sausages with that knife? <laughs> Oh, for fuck's sake, all these food, I don't even cut sausages, I put them in holes. <laughs> you know, what's the point? It's a fucking washing up liquid. It's not red paint, it's jam. <laughs> don't even like jam. <laughs> eh? I don't know how I got these sticky it's patches. <laughs> jam and custard. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Joker with his trademark cream pie. <laughs> Half eaten. <laughs> you want to know how I made this mess? <laughs> Fuck off, all of you. God. <laughs> Would have preferred precious over this. Oh. Don't fucking pat the belly after you've just done that. <laughs> oh, living his best life. <laughs> Tell him what about you. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Harry Potter that I've been yeah. Uh, oh yeah. yeah fucking yeah, yeah. printing you know, money yeah. no I thought you just get to act in it you're not getting paid no 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 no. I want I want the money that comes with it yeah okay fair uh, enough I've great, got Oscar. great little role yeah um, Yeah. never have to work again for me the, the one that I always wanted or feel like I've always been you know, in my head doing is Home Alone <laughs> oh yeah just yeah. trapping trapping the burglars <clears throat> uh, I yeah. love that I used to really love that film so that'd be me. Yeah. yeah, I can see that. If you could be, if you be acting in one though, uh, oh, an Alan Partridge. No, that way, I'd have an excuse for ripping him off. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway, guys, that was final question. Yeah. What's the final question? Thank you very much for for watching this podcast. Um, it's been a long week, all right. I'm still making a podcast. I'd be grateful for whatever shit comes out of this. Yeah. Thanks. I've been joined by Ryan Locke, Thank you. Max Smith, yes. Tom Looney. Yes. Should I week. say Tom Cooney this week? <laughs> and uh, fucking wait. And Joe McGrath. <laughs> stay safe, stay humble, and ciao. <laughs>